This is devotional number 153, and today's date is October 19th, 2016. We've been looking at 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17 this week, and we read there, all scripture is given by inspiration of God or God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. And we want to look today at this word for reproof, which is Strong's number 1650. And we want to see uh, how God uses this in the Bible. Actually, it's only used in one other passage uh, besides here. And this uh, noun is, is translated as evidence in Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that word substance is an interesting uh, word because it can also be translated person. Faith is the person of things hoped for. And what did we talk about in yesterday's study? We talked about the fact that Christ is our hope. And Christ is one of the divine persons of the Godhead. Uh, actually, the root word for reproof is translated most of the time as either reprove or rebuke. Uh, for instance, if we go to John 3, 19 to 21, in verse 20, it appears as uh, reproved or, uh, you know, meaning to expose. And it's uh, Strong's number 1651. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Should be reproved is 1651. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God, or they, or God is the one that is working uh, those deeds in the person's life. Uh, as we know from many passages, that God works in the believer's life to will and to do of his good pleasure. But this verse really highlights man's sinfulness. He hates the light. And this is a, a dual reference, not only to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world, but also to the Bible itself, which uh, in Psalm 119, 105, is described as, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Man, unsaved man, however, hates the light and loves darkness because they are spiritually dead. And because unsaved man loves his sin and his deeds which are evil, he absolutely does not want to consult the Bible in any way, shape, or form, which alone reveals the God of light and salvation. Thus, one of the main functions of God the Holy Spirit is to use the scriptures to reprove or convict the people of the world of their sins and judgment to come, even though we are in the day of judgment and God is no longer saving. Uh, as we read in John 16, 8, reprove the world, when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin righteousness, and judgment. Now, we have uh, just talked about the unsaved person, but what about the person that has been born from above? Uh, indeed, uh, each child of God, uh, how, how does God 
reprove them. Uh, we read in John 3, 21, He that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in God. Uh, here the true nature of the believer becomes apparent. Uh, notice how the verse says, He that doeth truth cometh to the light. Truth is not merely a principle to be believed, but it's intended to be lived out as we read in 1 John 3, 18 through 19. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. This is also repeated in James 1, 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Uh, John 3.21 says that one doing truth does so openly, letting his light shine as a witness as God works in and through him to demonstrate that his good works are done by God. God is the one working to will and to do of his good pleasure, and these works were already ordained before the foundation of the world. They are not works for salvation, as some people erroneously believe. Uh, these are simply the manifestation of what God is doing in the person's life, and all the credit, all the glory, uh, all the praise goes to God, not to the individual. Uh, we also find uh, similarly uh, an Old Testament verse which underscores this. Isaiah 26 12 maintains, Jehovah, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. The reproving that the scriptures provide is actually a demonstration of God's great eternal love for his redeemed people. The same Greek word appears as rebuke in Revelation 3, 19. As many as I love, I rebuke. Strong's number 1651 and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Also in John 15 2, uh, there's another purpose that God has in mind in terms of pruning his people in order to foster increased uh, fruitfulness in their lives. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. In the Old Testament, we read a, a beautiful passage concerning this in Job 5, 17 through 18. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty, for he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth, and his hands make whole. 